हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल नेटवर्क फॉर यू वेलकम टू आवर जी एन एस थ्री सीरीज इन दिस सीरीज आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर एस एस एच ऑन स्विच एज पर आवर स्टूडेंट रिक्वेस्ट आई एम मेकिंग वन वीडियो हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर एस एस एच ऑन द स्विच यू कैन फॉलो द सेम थिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कॉन्फिगर इन जी एन एस थ्री और ई वी एन जी और पैकेट ट्रेसर और ऑन द रियल स्विच ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट हियर सी Uh, I will create a new project. I will give SSH. Let me write some name. Basic, basic SSH lab in lab in GNS3. So this is a basic lab. We are going to learn how to do SSH in switch in GNS3. So let me write in. Uh, after that, we have see here. So this is uh, my. area where i am going to design the network let me cut this one so we will have more screen let me take one switch so i will go to the switch let me take this switch this is our one switch i am going to use this one and now i am going to take one more thing before i did not discuss that is docker docker support a new feature of gns3 version and docker container wrap up with a piece of software in complete file system so we are using docker because it is using less memory let me take web term this is a docker we can use or if you want to use you can use this one or you can use vpc this vpcs as a client the, i am using this as a client like if i want to tell net or ssh or i i want to ping like our pc example this is a switch and he, this is my computer i want to ping from here to here it is communicating or not so instead of taking this vpc i am using web term so we this is a docker actually we can use docker no problem so this is the new feature we can use and it is not taking that much ram so it is very helpful for us okay so let me do this and after that i will go here i will write show great and then let me do zoom also this one so this one will be more zoom so here we have this one okay let me more zoom or i will just to look a good attractive so i have this here okay so now what i will do i will connect this this is our docker and i will connect this to our switch what is our plan here is i will take the ip address here this is a switch so i will write ip address 192.168.1.1 Slash twenty four. I will take this IP as a management IP for this switch. Okay, and here I will write one ninety two dot one sixty eight one dot two. This is our PC IP. You can say our client IP or our Docker IP. So how we can assign this IP address to Docker? You need to, if you want to open this one now, we can uh, press. This is uh, on, so it will on that one. before owning i want to assign the ip address here so i will keep off i will right click this one and then i will go edit configuration when you go edit configuration from starting from auto you need to remove this slash okay i will really uh, remove the slash if you see here also i will go here i will remove this slash i will remove this this because if you want to get the ip address from dhcp server we need to keep that slash else we need to remove and what is our ip we are planning that is 192.168.1.2 and subnet mask to 55.255.255.0 and default gateway that is a switch ip address 192.168.1.1 and dns we are not using now so i will keep this one now save this okay so this way we assign the ip address to web term now i will start this so this router and uh, this switch as well as this web tel is started now if i want to get the port this is e0 by 0 e, this is ethernet 0 now i want uh, what i can say i need the console of this one as well as this one so i can write i can click this one so it will open the console console for switch as well as for the docker okay so console for switch is open now we will see console for docker so if you see console for docker also open here let me show you actually i close just now let me open that one so this is a console for docker so this is a console for switch this is a console for docker so if i want to exit i can exit this one and if you want to let me press because 
sometime docker give problem but most of the time it is working switch is okay no problem for the docker let me again uh, open this console and let's see why it is not working so now if you see now docker is working i delete it again i add that one so now it is okay so see like this it will look when you open the docker it look like this okay so we need to go here and here right click and uh, click this terminal so this window will open if you go up here we can do ssh here okay the assume this is our pc we need to tell it or ssh from here to our switch okay so this docker i minimize and i will go in the switch i will do the configuration whatever configuration i need to do okay so first of all whenever doing our configuration we are creating any user so what i will do i will go in the configuration i will create user uh, like like a user name admin and password admin okay i create this one and i exit this okay now so this user is created if you want to see you can write show uh, you show run it will show the user if you have any user it will show also if you see here we have username admin password is admin okay so now what i can do now we are going to configure so how we are going to configure here first of all let me give you introduction what is ssh ssh is a secure method for remote accessing our devices like switch or router it it include authentication in, in and encryption to do this one we use rsa public private key pair okay and uh, in the detail we already learn in our ccna 200-301 series if you want to see that one you can watch our ccna 200-301 series we have more theory on that one here only in this series we are only focusing on the practical how we can do in the gns3 so it work in the port number 22 and it is very secure uh, we know this one so now let's start the configuration first we need to configure ssh on the switch then only we can access from different client to the switch so now if you want to configure first of all you need to assign the ip address so how we will assign we write interface vlan1 why we are using vlan1 vlan1 is default present so i need to assign the ip address we are uh, saying ip address we need to assign 192.168.1.1 then 255.255. Dot, uh, dot 255. Dot, let me write 255. Dot 255.0 and then we need to write no shed. So this is the uh, management IP we are saying whenever we have anything we can ping and check this one. So now our switch is having the management IP 192.168.1.1. Okay, I assign the management IP now. I am going to configure the SSH. If I want to configure SSH, I need to write IP domain domain then domain name we can write domain name any name i will give abc if you want you can give any name that is not necessary you need to give abc or anything then we need to write uh, uh, generate the keys so we need to write crypto key then generate crypto key generate rsa okay and here value we need to give i will give uh, like uh, 800 or anything it is lying in between the range like uh, see here uh, 360 to 4096 in this range we need to use if i take bigger range it will take long time so it is good to give uh, not that much big also and uh, so i give an 800 and here we get the notice ssh 1.99 has been enabled after enabling this one we need to create the line also whatever line you need to give them so i will write line vty 0 to 4 LAN VTY 0 to 4 then you need to write transport and input SSH after that login local login local after next you we need to give username I will write example admin and password we can write password also admin I wrote password username both are admin so this is our SSH configuration done I can exit this this is uh, finish if you want I can go to our um, this one the docker here docker I can write uh, SSH if uh, if you remember if you want to access SSH what we need to write we need to write SSH then minus L then username I read username as admin I will write admin 
then I will write IP address. What is the IP address of the switch? 192.168.1.1. Then need to press enter. Okay. And it will give you, it is giving, there is a, some issue. What issue? Let me try again. SSH minus L admin 192.168.1.1. Yeah. It is saying, are you sure you want to connect to this? I will say yes. Then it will give me warning and then it will ask me password. So I need to write password ADMIN. Let if you see here, now it accepted. Actually, there is an issue with the Docker. Uh, why we are using Docker means because uh, Docker take uh, less RAM. Your wish, if you want to use normal PC, we, you can use also. Now, if you see, I put the admin. Actually, when I am writing, it is uh, executing some command and we have the space. So that's why it is uh, having the issue. Now it is accepted admin and if you see this is S1. If you want, let me write here, uh, go to the enable mode. Uh, let me write the command which execute here. Show IP interface brief. Then if you see 192.168.1.1, we assign the IP address to the VLAN one. And let's see, because whatever command is uh, okay here, it is working that one. Okay, I hope this is, uh, this video is uh, informatic for you and I would like to thank you for viewing this one. Okay, thank you.